Uh, welcome to Friday's devotional. I believe this is our 24th devotional. Today I would like to personalize Paul's opening thanksgiving to the Philippians in his letter that he wrote to the church at Philippi. I'd like to personalize that opening to Maranatha Bible Chapel. When I personalize a scripture like this, a text like this, um, I practice putting uh, the church's name and my name into the text. So the text speaks directly uh, to me or directly to us as a fellowship in our mission uh, here in Horsehead. So uh, here we go, beginning in Philippians chapter 1 and verse 1. Pastor Scott, servant of Christ Jesus, to all the saints who are in Maranatha Bible Chapel in Horseheads, New York, with the overseers and the deacons, grace to you all and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God in all my remembrance of you always in every prayer of mine for you all, making my prayer with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Now a brief pause in the text to say to you grace and peace to you all. I appreciate all of you and your partnership in the gospel going forth from Maranatha Bible Chapel and our mission station here in Horseheads. It brings me joy as I have heard a number of stories about how you have had the opportunity to engage others during this time uh, through love and good deeds, demonstrating the gospel, and some of you getting to the gospel with others. I thank God as I remember our partnership. I'm thinking back now. I thank God as I remember our partnership from the first day I filled my role here as a part-time youth pastor in 1996 to today, some almost 25 years ago. Let me go back to our devotion, our personalized devotion. And I'm sure of this, that He, God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, all three, the three in one, who began a good work in you, will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. It is right for me to feel this way about you all because I hold you in my heart for you are you are all partakers with me of grace. And again, let me pause. May the grace of God sustain all of you and myself as God completes his good work that he started in us individually and corporately as a fellowship on mission here in the midst of our current circumstances and our geographical territory in horses. Back to our text, I continue with these verses in my personalized prayer for you. Verse 8. For God is my witness how I yearn for you all with the affection of Jesus Christ. And it is my prayer that your love may abound more and more with knowledge and all discernment so that you may approve what is excellent and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory of God. May our fellowship, our togetherness of mission, becoming disciples and making disciples, even though we are separate, be sweet because our love for Christ and our love for one another abounds more and more in us. May you and I strive together to be blameless and filled with the fruit of righteousness as we abide in Christ Jesus for the glory of God through our fellowship and our mission. I, like Paul, am looking forward to when we will be able to gather again together physically as brothers and sisters in Christ in our fellowship. May the grace of God and the love of Jesus overflow in your heart this day. Peace and blessings, Pastor Scott. As I mentioned at the end of Wednesday's devotional, we will not unfortunately be able to gather for Mother's Day this Sunday. But please check your email from the church as we are prepping for a special time on Sunday to mobile connect 
to honor moms and support a local rescue ministry we partner with beginning on Mother's Day every year and completing on Father's Day. The announcement and instructions for that connection are contained in more than one email from the church. Hope you will choose to participate in Connect. And also, again, thanks for watching these devotional videos. If you would like to see more like this, please make sure you click and subscribe the subscribe button and you don't miss further devotionals and messages from Maranatha Bible Chapel. If you like this video, be sure to click the like button and follow us on Facebook. Grace and peace to you all, Pastor Scott.